Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sudish, and I am your instructor for this Microsoft 365 Certified Teams Administrator Associate. In this lesson, you're going to learn about how to plan for governance in Microsoft 365 Group. Microsoft 365 Groups, which was formerly known as Office 365 Group, is a cross-application membership service in Office 365. It's an object in Azure Active Directory, so organizations can add or remove people from the group just as any other group-based service object in Active Directory. With Microsoft 365 Group, organizations can give a group of people access to collection of collaboration resources including shared Outlook inbox, shared calendar, SharePoint document library, etc. A Microsoft 365 group can be created directly from your Microsoft 365 admin center or indirectly from other associated workload, such as planner or a team. And Office 365 has a rich set of tools to manage and govern Microsoft 365 group at scale. Some of the capabilities of Microsoft 365 Groups are group naming policy, group classification, group guest access, group creation, hidden membership, and expiration policies. There are many ways to create Microsoft 365 Group. I will take you through a demo walkthrough on the next video to exactly show you how to create a Microsoft 365 Group. So when you create a Microsoft 365 group, there are a few other things which is created along with that. There is going to be an associated SharePoint document library. You will get a OneNote notebook and connection to other Office 365 cloud applications as well. Administrators in your Office 365 tenant can also create and manage Microsoft 365 group in their specific admin center. Now that we have learned on a high level on what is Microsoft 365 Group, let's go and see a demo on how to create and manage a Microsoft 365 Groups for Teams. 